Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve and graph one-step subtraction inequalities. Now, when we solve inequalities, we want to isolate the variable, get it by itself on one side of the inequality. We do that by using inverse operations, opposite operations. So this is just like when we solve equations. Now, once we solve the inequality, we can graph the solutions, all of the values that make the inequality true. Let's jump into number one, where we have g minus seven is less than or equal to two. So we need to solve this. We need to isolate that variable of g. Now we are subtracting seven, so we need the inverse operation of subtraction. That's addition, so let's add seven to the left side of the inequality. Now, whatever we do to one side of an inequality, we must do to the other in order to keep it balanced. So add seven to the right side as well. Now, as far as the left side, these sevens cancel each other out. G is now isolated. So we have G is less than or equal to, and then on the right side, two plus seven, gives us nine. So G is less than or equal to nine. And that's our answer. So any value less than or equal to nine is a solution of this inequality. It will make the inequality true. Now we need to graph this inequality, all of the solutions. So we need to represent all of the values less than or equal to nine. So let's start with a number line here, and we'll put nine right here in the middle, and then a couple of numbers on both sides. So we have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Remember, when it comes to graphing inequalities, a filled circle means that the number is included. It's a solution. An open circle means the number is not included. It's not a solution. So here, G is less than or equal to nine. Nine is included, so we need a closed circle at nine. Now we need to represent the less than part. So we need all the values less than nine. So we need an arrow going left towards all of the values less than nine. And that's our graph. That represents G is less than or equal to nine. The filled circle shows that we are including nine. Nine is a solution. It will make the inequality true. And then the arrow shows all of the values less than nine. Now, one last thing we can do here is check a solution to make sure we are correct, make sure it works. So we need any value less than or equal to nine. Let's try eight. So we need to plug in eight for G. So eight minus seven is less than or equal to two. Eight minus seven gives us one. One is less than or equal to two. So we are correct here. And let's actually check nine as well to make sure that works. Since G can be equal to nine and we will do this mentally. So plug in nine for G. 9 minus 7 gives us 2. And 2 is less than or equal to 2. So 9 works as well. Our answer, G is less than or equal to 9. So G can be anything less than or equal to 9. Let's move on to number 2, where we have negative 15 is greater than Y minus 11. So we need to solve this. We need to isolate Y. We are subtracting 11, so we need the inverse operation of subtraction. That's addition. So add 11 to the right side. That means we need to add 11 to the left side as well. Now, as far as the right side, these 11s cancel each other out. So y is now isolated. We have y is less than, and then on the left side, negative 15 plus 11, gives us negative four. So y is less than negative four. 
So any value less than negative four is a solution of this inequality. It makes the inequality true. Now, one thing we can do here, we can rewrite this with the variable coming first. It makes it a little easier to work with. And all we need to do is flip it. So we have y, put the variable first, and then the inequality symbol needs to stay open towards negative four. Y needs to remain less than negative four. So be careful with the symbol whenever you rewrite an inequality with the variable coming first. So this is correct as well. Y is less than negative four. Either of those work, so something to keep in mind. Now we're ready to graph. So let's start with a number line and we have negative four and then we can put a couple of numbers on both sides. So we have negative six, negative five, negative four, negative three, negative two. So y is less than negative four. We are not including negative four. Negative four is not a solution here. So we need an open circle at negative four. Now y is less than negative four, so we need all of the values less than negative four. So our arrow is going to go left towards all of the values less than negative four. And that's our graph. Now let's check a solution by plugging it into the original inequality and seeing if it works. So we need any value less than negative four. Let's use negative five. So we have negative 15 is greater than, and then plug in negative five for y, so negative five minus 11. Negative five minus 11 gives us negative 16. So negative 15 is greater than negative 16, so that works. We are correct, y is less than negative four. That's our answer. So any value less than negative four is a solution. It will work as far as this inequality goes. So there you have it. There's how to solve and graph one step subtraction inequalities. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.